In this video, we are going to find x, y, and z such that the sum of squares equals 9, sum of the fourth powers equals 33, and the product equals minus 4. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. I'm going to use the Vietas formula to solve this problem, focusing on the case of monic cubic equations. Monic means that the coefficient of the cube term is 1, and of course cubic means the degree is 3. The roots p, q, r, there should be three of them, satisfy the relation that the sum equals to minus a, the mutual products, like I, the sum of the mutual products, like I pick any two of them and multiply, and there are three combinations and I add them up. The sum equals to b, and the product of the three unknowns, roots equals to minus c. So going back to our system, actually we can consider a cubic equation with roots x squared, y squared, and z squared. So now we have the sum, and we can find the sum of the mutual products by looking at the first equation squared, and the second equation together. If I square both sides for the first equation, the right side has 9 squared, expanding. We have the sum of fourth powers, just like equation 2, and then the rest would be 2 times the sum of the mutual products. that equals 81. So simplifying, we know that the sum of the mutual products is equal to 24. So now we have two parts of the three conditions that PQR can satisfy. And finally, we can find the product of x squared, y squared, and z squared from the third equation. that's 16. So that means, therefore, x squared, y squared, z squared are roots to the equation a cubed minus 9a squared plus 24a minus 16 equals 0. And now, by looking at this cubic, we can try to find the value of x, y, and z. Indeed, we can factorize by noticing that a minus 1 is a factor, we get this by putting a equals 1 into the equation, and we find that this equation holds. So a minus 1 is a factor by the factor theorem, then the rest would be a squared minus 8a plus 16. So that's a minus 4 all squared equals 0. So that means a equals to 1 or 4. Now from this, we know that x squared, y squared, z squared equals to either 1 or 4. So x, y, z is either plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2. Since the sum of squares equal to 9, that means those three numbers must be either 1 and then 2 fourths or is permutations and nothing else. And of course, this would also match with the second equation that sum of the four powers is equal to 33, when the four powers would then be 1, 16, and 16 respectively. Now it comes to the product and it has to be equal to minus 4. So that means if I disregard the plus or minus sign, then the three numbers has to be 1, and then we have two twos. And because the product has to be a negative number, that means we either have three negative values or just one. Like this. So that means, for the first case, we will have x, y, z equals to minus 1, minus 2, and minus 2, or its permutations. 
and for the second case, minus one, two twos, and its permutations, and finally, one minus two, two, and its permutations. So all together, there should be 12 solutions altogether. And this is the final answer. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.